Today I'm going to finish my OSB side tables with some epoxy. There's a lot of great YouTube tutorials out there about how to use epoxy. This is my first time using it, so don't use this as a reference. So the basic process is you take part A and part B of the epoxy and you mix them together in equal parts. And after you mix it, you put it on a small skim coat onto the piece. I use a foam brush to spread the epoxy and it actually works really nicely. However, it can get small air bubbles when you mix it and pour it, so you actually have to take a torch to the epoxy so it can pop all those bubbles that are trapped inside of it. After I waited 24 hours for the first skim coat to dry, I could come back in with a second coat of epoxy. But before I added the second coat, I sanded it down so there was something that this new coat could latch onto. And Mr. Jeter wanted to help me sand it. When I made the boxes, I actually missed the edge of the OSB and drilled too far to the side. And this left some ugly holes on the edges. And I was worried the epoxy would flow out of the hole, so I used some tape to create a dam to stop that epoxy from flowing out too badly. And I also thought it would be a good idea to fill some of these holes with some silicone. That wasn't my best idea. Not only does it look sloppy, but the epoxy actually is a lot less fluid than I thought it would be when I poured it. Uh, the tape dam is more than enough to hold any epoxy in place. I was also worried about the epoxy darkening the OSB too much, and it did. But this was an experiment with this kind of finish to see if I could use it on future projects. So I was okay with the results that I had on this OSB.
Thanks for watching. See you later.